he was a, if you saw the title of this you're probably thinking oh look at this guy he's being like really big headed and stuff so I'm gonna say straight off the bat that I am not the best extinction player um, there's just so many videos out there with people saying they're the best and they've escaped with no relics on or like one relic and they've got like 10,000 video views so I just wanted to upload this and show you guys like this escape and uh, some of the people on my like friends list that are better than me uh, Gravitism is amazing and uh, Civi and uh, Jesus and Springford as well so uh, this is the loadout that I use for a five relic escape on solo it's a uh, fragile uh, take more damage, uh, inflict less damage, and uh, uh, limited ammo, and that's how like I ram my relics. Everyone's different, so I'm not going to say you need to do that one. And there's like the ammo type: it's incendiary armor, um, the crowd control, and sentry gun. And that's how I like to like run it. So if you want to try it like that, you can do, because um, it was really really difficult. If you got a good skill level, then you'd probably be able to pull it off. Uh, and there you go like there's like all the people on my friends list and that that are like really really good um, Andy Input if you want to check out his YouTube channel because he's amazing he does a lot of cool tips so this is showing you that my Roxio crashed and there it is it's an empty file it came up with that image I was gutted uh, I stopped it and then the recording and uh, after I got to past this area here and uh, went to the uh, arc and I shouldn't have done I was stupid I thought I won't put all my eggs in one basket and just record it because it's played up a couple of times and I thought if I like stop recording and then start again at least I'll have some game footage surely it can't fail twice and it happened to fail on the run back which was absolutely amazing I, w I took two downs on the run back uh, the first uh, barrier and then the uh, second barrier and then I got to the last barrier and I was blood red, no health, uh, activated the cortex, stepped out of the scorpion goo and uh, I got out, thank god, so it was a proper escape so I was really really happy about that, a little bit good that I didn't make it into the top 25 uh, but uh, it was still a really really good escape, there must be thousands of people out there that are playing this and uh, to be in the top sort of uh, 40 I think it's pretty decent I'm going to try again with 6 relics and uh, try and beat it and obviously get that gameplay footage of the escape as well I'm not sure what relic I'll put on uh, maybe pistol only uh, but I find pistol only very very boring uh, I like to like use the guns and stuff and uh, talking to guns this is the gun I was using here is the Maverick uh, and um, because I had uh, limited ammo uh, I thought it would be pretty smart to like obviously have two weapons so uh, then you get more for your money when you actually throw down that ammo because it's horrible you only get like uh, basic um, bullets when you throw down that ammo so you have to throw it down a couple of times just to get um, enough bullets uh, but I tried to like use my sentry guns and uh, put down the Teslas uh, as much as possible um, or the Telsas, <laughs> I always get them mixed up, I'm such a noob on Extinction uh, I'm more of a zombie player really, although I haven't been uploading much of that lately but yeah, so I put that uh, trap, I'll say trap to be on the safe side next to my sentry gun to protect them, because I was sticking it by the drill uh, but uh, then you had to just like babysit your sentry guns all the time so um, I, I turned the fire trap on there as well and uh, then like your sentry guns are like covering your back and. Uh, I had the uh, dual yield pistols because um, I really do like them um, they're, they're really really powerful up close and uh, it's so hard when you can't reload quickly to like have uh, like bullets in your maverick and the other gun I was using was the i8 the, the single shot which is in only in the first area but I actually got it in the uh, box like in the locker so um, yeah I love that gun uh, and it's good for personal skill as well um, That bonus there wasn't so hot uh, because I was spraying off a lot with my pistols but before that I was getting really really good personal skill levels because uh, it's uh, just a one shot weapon uh, you've got a fast trigger finger then you, you can pump out a lot of rounds and that but it's good for personal skill you get like 3000 like 4000 sort of like personal skill that's what I was getting in the early rounds uh, later on I was spraying like a mofo so it wasn't that good um, and I was proper sweating it as well you know people say that like all the time but I literally was it was a gorgeous sunny day today 
and uh, I was just like sat there with sweat just dripping off of me like I've got to get through this next year I've got to escape and I was so gutted that uh, one that I didn't record voice in this game because this is obviously done like after the fact you know this game has been done like a couple of hours now so uh, but I was in a party with uh, Smoke Dog J and uh, <laughs> I was screaming down the mic I, I was proper happy it, it, it was really really awesome then there was the big downer when I, I clicked stop recording and the flipping thing, thing crashed, didn't it? Oh my god. If I had a job and money, because uh, if uh, you probably don't know, if you're on my friends list, that uh, I like recently lost my job, so um, I don't have any money to buy a new capture card. Uh, I used to have the Elgato before, uh, but um, I couldn't afford to get um, an Elgato uh, when I actually did have a job. Uh, I decided to go with a Roxio. Uh, and oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, I, if I could, I would stamp on this Roxio and just smash it into a million pieces and then burn it <laughs> and then go out and buy an Algato because I wouldn't want to sell it on eBay and give it to anybody because even if it, it's fine and this thing glitch, is glitchy, like, I don't know, maybe there's a design flaw in it, I would not want anybody to have it. Uh, yeah, so if you're a gamer, I probably wouldn't go with a Roxio. The Elgato is much better. I've heard people say the Elgato was better before. I was like, oh, actually, you know, the record quality on this uh, Roxio HD Pro is pretty decent and it comes with software and stuff, but no, no, I'll go with the Elgato. Uh, he, he, I'm just like running around building another trap and uh, this thing is amazing. If you get the uh, the nuclear battery, then that actually is the the best trap. Uh, the cell battery is the worst, and then the liquid ones like somewhere in between. It's kind of like when you build your uh, venom gun, you can get like different venom guns and that. Oh, I hate it when people don't take what they get though. That really does annoy me. You know, it's it's a waste of a box and that. But here I am, just like looking around all the corners, thinking there's got to be one here somewhere, and uh, yeah, there was one eventually, but. Um, a lot of this uh, was just like searching around uh, this was, was the worst gameplay from the actual game though as well which is uh, the mickey take uh, god I'm just absolutely gutted when I got to the arc uh, if you haven't played solo yet uh, I, I was thinking like how's it gonna work because how are you gonna protect four terminals maybe you'll just get to protect the one terminal but it is actually four terminals when you get there uh, but um, they take a lot of damage and uh, I think I only lost like a couple of terminals in the end I had uh, my sentry guns up top and then the trap down the bottom and uh, uh, I was stood like in the middle bit at the top so I could see all the terminals and that, that was a really really good strategy well me for the run back though uh, there's got to be an easier way than what I did it when I'm up here now uh, I put the sentry guns facing each other like one like that that I'm putting down now and then another one back towards the fire trap just looking at it so the sentry guns were supposed to cover each other but it didn't work out like that the aliens just like jumped all over them and just like annihilated them obviously I couldn't have a trap because I'd already put the trap down and uh, yeah so the run back was really really dicey um, I don't know if I have more relics how I'm actually going to try and escape and maybe if I have like uh, six relics on then I probably won't even have to escape I'll still get a really really good score uh, yeah so this bit here um, you don't actually have to go down there and sort of like stand next to the drill um, there's a really big spawn point up the top here uh, so that was where I was actually putting down my sentry guns and that scorpion goo was really slowing down my head turning there and a couple of times I just got like spun around and I haven't got a clue where I was but uh, yeah and luckily I got flares here as well and flares really really did help um, I should really have uh, built like uh, the venom grenades although I'd run out of red boxes anyway so that, that, that probably wasn't such a good idea and shooting down these gargoyles is a nightmare like on solo with all these relics just one gargoyle will take you down instantly uh, when you have take more damage on when you're hurt like the first bullet will take some of your health away but then the next one is just strip your health like it's a nightmare and even with like a, like a stowed riot shield on your back you'll still go down so easily so you have to try and find somewhere that you can hide pretty much 
uh, and this part of the map is actually very open it's probably a good idea that I actually did the um, uh, obelisk at the bottom there first because um, I could hide in that cave bit there and just sit behind my sentry guns and uh, it worked out pretty good uh, I'm not going to say this is like the best strategy for it because uh, it probably isn't like I said before like, I have been watching quite a few extinction videos um, like uh, people's like strategies and stuff uh, Bullets is amazing, Bullets has got some good strategies so if you're looking for a strategy video then uh, check out Bullets channel and I'll try and put an annotation on the screen now um, if I remember. I'm really lazy when it comes to that sort of thing so I do apologise uh, and I'm also lazy when it comes to putting a subscribe box on there as well but um, if you have watched this for this amount of time then thank you and if you would like to subscribe and like as well then that would be awesome because the videos out there are absolutely diabolical it's shocking how can a video of like an escape with no game commentary or like a face cam or anything like that get 10,000 views for an escape it's just I, I don't like it it dumbs down the community if anything and people comment and say like you're a beast or a pro and stuff like that when they're really really not I mean uh, no escape on no escape, no relic escape is just very easy. Like I didn't even try to uh, run like no relics to escape. The first time I tried it, I think I ran free and failed. So this was probably like my fifth go at uh, trying to escape and that. And there was someone on my friends there, Springfield, who just like slapped on like nine relics, I think, and <laughs> got to uh, like I think it was number one uh, with six obelisks. Uh, there's probably the way to go you know there's no point doing it half-hearted you might as well just like put on those relics and stuff and uh, like try and sort of like smash it out um, I don't know that that's how I like to do it anyway because a lot of people say that extinction isn't challenging or extinction isn't fun but if you put the relics on then it does make it a lot better it's totally different to zombies you know zombies yeah their health goes up but your strategy doesn't really change you know, with infinity weapons and like traps and stuff, you run the same trains and you do the same thing for like 18 hours or however long you want to do it and how long you can survive. Uh, but extinction, it is very, very difficult if you stick those relics on. So I'd say do that. If you're not such a big fan and you're a subscriber and you're a subscriber because you like my zombie videos, then um, just try it and uh, you never know, you might like it. It's uh, it's definitely fun and I will be uploading zombie videos I promise that I'll upload a zombie video soon and I actually did try to do uh, a video today um, it's just a mess around on uh, Origins first room challenge but um, the quality of the video wasn't so good so I decided oh, I'm not going to do that uh, I always said that if I'm going to upload something then it'll be quality stuff so um, as soon as I get something decent on zombies I will upload it and uh, I'll, I'll try and get some by the weekend and um, it'll probably be just like a mess around sort of like first room sort of thing or just like with randoms uh, just getting a heap of revives and stuff or, or like some funny kid because uh, uh, I, I don't know that's the sort of thing that I like watching on YouTube anyway you know if it's like a really long video of someone running trains then I get bored and I do watch like this or look at the statistics from my videos and I have to say America you're not doing so good uh, like English well the UK has like the most views like per minute of my videos if I upload like a 10 minute video then they average like about seven minutes of it uh, America is not as good so I do look to see sort of not just like where people are from because that doesn't make any difference you know I'm just like messing around uh, but like see like if how much of a video you watch and what videos people watch more of like my tip videos they get uh, a lot of uh, sort of like minutes watched uh, my zombie videos people just skip through to the end pretty much so um, yeah, like I said I like watching sort of like constant sort of action kind of thing if it's just like running a train on that's the reason why I didn't upload Mob of the Dead 100 why I didn't upload uh, Origins 100 it's just I find it a little bit boring just people just 
like and myself just running the same train over and over and over and over again and it's just I, I, I like action and I'll, I'll try to bring you something that I think you will like and uh, what you're gonna watch uh, so here it is this is where um, I'm just about to stop recording uh, I thought that I'll just like stop it here as I'm going in and then like start recording again and then I got that flipping dead file if anybody knows how to fix that then that would be awesome because uh, I, I nearly cried I was so upset but um, thanks for watching guys and uh, like I said if you could like it and subscribe that would be awesome and if we can try and beat these people that are getting 10,000 video views for something that's not very good quality uh, I'm not saying this is great quality because my mic sucks and stuff and I didn't show you the uh, escape and that but if we could get this to go viral or semi-viral or like at the top of the search list then that would be awesome because um, you know I don't think my videos suck and uh, I think it's pretty decent so yeah I'm trying to tiptoe around uh, sort of what I'm trying to say so um, yeah uh, thanks for watching and uh, peace out guys take it easy